Hello and welcome to the Design and Technology Product Design Sixth Form presentation. I'm Mr Bright and I teach the A-level product design course alongside Mr Jenkins and our full-time support technician, Mr Breeze. If you do require any further information regarding the course, then please don't hesitate to contact either myself or Mr Jenkins. This presentation will give you an overview of the reasons for choosing product design, potential career opportunities it could lead to, what we can offer as a department and an overview of the course. Product design is all about identifying design opportunities that leads to new and improved products. Students follow a design iteration process, which is a cyclic process of designing, making and testing a prototype through a number of user trials until a desired outcome has been achieved. Students will be supported right from the start and we will challenge you to be the best you can be. Choosing product design can lead to a number of potential careers or career opportunities for students and also develop a number of transferable skills. Students have the opportunities to access the latest technology such as 3D printers and laser cutters and the designated ICT suite where they can complete work during their free periods. We have a strong partnership with Renishaw a leading manufacturer in precision engineering. Students are taken to Renishaw and have access to the Student Innovation Lab where they can carry out their own design and make project work. The product design course is split into AS level and A level. AS level is worth 40% and A level is worth 60%. At AS level, students will sit a two hour written exam which consists of a mixture of short, structured and extended writing questions. The exam is worth 20%. At A-level, students will sit a two and a half hour written exam worth 30%. The AS level design and make task, referred to as the non-examination assessment or the NEA, is marked out of 80 and worth 20%. The A-level design and make task is marked out of 100 and worth 30%. The NEA is broken down into a five section, a five section assessment criteria, identifying and investigating design possibilities, developing a design brief and specification, generating and developing design ideas, manufacturing a prototype and analysing and evaluating design decisions and prototypes. During the NEA, students must produce the following, an informal sketch pad, a formal presentation folio and practical outcomes. NEA work is internally marked by the teacher and then moderated by an external moderator from the WJC. The following slides will give you a taste of the work that's been previously produced. Pupils will start with a chosen topic from which they will identify a range of design possibilities. Pupils will look at existing products and carry out an analysis and disassembly to gain a better understanding of the product. Pupils will develop an understanding of materials and their properties through a range of material testing activities. We always encourage you to be innovative in your approach and look at opportunities for unique selling points. Some pupils take inspiration from nature, design movements of past designers when designing. And throughout the course, we encourage pupils to develop their com communication skills through a range of methods. Pupils have the chance to experiment with both modern and traditional methods. When beginning any design and make tasks, we emphasize the following. It must be innovative. It must have a unique selling point. It must use a combination of materials. It should incorporate different processes and it must be enjoyable to design and make. If you've enjoyed this presentation, or if you are creative, interested in design, technology, art, science, or ICT, and want to use a laser cutter and 3D printers, whilst developing real problem solving skills, then product design is for you. Thank you for taking the time to watch this presentation, and I look forward to hearing from you.